should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. Don't act like you're spiritually dead. Let this stay in your head. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. Pray to God to remove the strife, but don't take you another life. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. You do what God said to do. Although the world will hate you, you should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. Love and live like Jesus Christ to have eternal life. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. You should love one another. Not murder like Cain did, brother. You should love one another. Hello, boys and girls, and to all the graduates out there, we want to say happy graduation. Congratulations. You probably have cousins, older brothers and sisters who are graduating and those who are coming from kindergarten and going into first grade. Today's lesson is love one another. It's for May 22nd, 2022, and we're in spring lesson number 12. And you know where you are? You are with Miss Kathy's class, and Emoji and I are so glad to see you. Today's lesson is from Galatians, the fifth chapter, first verses 1 through 15. The key verse says, the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. Galatians 5 and the 15th verse. And now it's prayer time. And you can insert your prayer right here. Stop the video. And it's your turn to say your own prayer today. Here are the words to know for today. Abolish is the first word. To officially end or stop. Slavery in the United States was abolished in 1865. The second word is alienate. Oh, you see alien in that word as a root word. Yeah. To cause to be detached or withdrawn or separated from somebody, someone like a society or a family. Danny's criminal actions alienated him from his family. You don't want that to happen, do you? Burdened, carrying something heavy, forced to deal with something bothersome or difficult. Cinderella was burdened with loads of chores by her evil stepmother and stepsisters. Circumcision, a Jewish ceremony that symbolized the promise God made to Abraham. The ancient Israelites were required to undergo circumcision. Confidence is the next word. Now, some of you know that word already. We're going to make sure. The feeling or belief that you can do something well or succeed at something. Is there something that you feel confident about? Jamie was confident that he could win the school's talent contest. Confusion. A state of disorder. Wow, things are all mixed up if they're confused. It's not clear. The car wreck left me in a state of confusion. Devour, to eat quickly and eagerly, to confuse or destroy with devastating force. Now, if you've ever fed your dog late, you can watch him devour his food. The boys devoured an entire pizza in five minutes flat. Indulge to allow someone to have or do something, even though it might not be proper, healthy, or appropriate. Even though I'm supposed to be on a diet, I indulged in two slices of chocolate cake. Ooh, can't do that. Persuasion, the act of causing people to do or believe something. Lisa persuaded her brother to try out for the school's basketball team. Yoke. That's a bar or frame that's attached to the head or necks of animals like ox so that they can pull a heavy load. Someone that causes people to be treated cruelly 
or unfairly, especially by taking away their freedom. Belief in Jesus removes the yoke of sin from us. Now it's time for From the Source. Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 15. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened by again by a yoke of slavery. Mark my words, I, Paul, tell you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no value to you at all. Again I declare to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obligated to, be, to obey the whole law. You who are trying to be justified by the law have been alienated from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit we eagerly await by faith the righteousness for which we hope. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that counts is faith expressing itself through love. You were running a good race. Who cut in on you and to keep you from obeying the truth? That kind of persuasion does not come from the one who calls you. A little yeast works through the whole batch of dough. I am confident in the Lord that you will take no other view. The one who is throwing you into confusion, whoever that may be, will have to pay the penalty. Brothers and sisters, if I am preaching circumcision, why am I still being persecuted? In that case, the offense of the cross has been abolished. For as those agitators, I wish they would go the whole way and emasculate themselves. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one humbly, one another humbly, in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. Remember that the key verse says, the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. From Galatians, the fifth chapter and the 14th verse. Now let's turn to your page in your, turn to the page in your lesson book. Where the story is love one another. And today is Bible verses. Paul wrote, because Christ set us free, you must stand firm. You must never sin. Or let sin rule you. Listen, if you become circumcised, you must obey the law. Trying to be right with God by obeying the law cuts you off from Christ and God's grace. We wait with hope that God is making us right with him. What really matters to God is showing faith through love. Paul wrote that the people were doing well with showing faith and love. Then he asked who had stopped them from obeying the truth. It was not God. Paul said that whoever was causing the confusion would be dealt with by God. He was confident that the people would believe the truth in God. Paul wrote, if I preach what other people want me to preach, then why am I still being bothered? If that were true, then talking about Christ would cause no trouble. I hope those who are upsetting you will go away. Because as you remember, Paul had a lot of trouble and was really, really picked on for preaching about Christ. My friends, you were called to be free, but do not let freedom become an excuse for you to do what you want. Let love make you serve each other. The entire law is completed in 
this command, in you keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Questions. Paul reminds the people that slavery was bad. He told them to stand firm. Why? Because Christ set us free. Never be slaves again. What does Paul say is the thing that really matters? Showing faith through love. Being called to freedom in Christ is not an excuse for us to do what with that freedom? To do anything we want. Love should make us want to serve who? One another. Serving one another, serving others, is serving God, remember? The law can be fulfilled by keeping this one command. What is it? Love your neighbor as yourself. All you need is love. The contemporary story for May 22nd, 2022. Everyone knew Aaron and Aiden. They were twins and they played on the same baseball team. They were always first to welcome new players to the team. The coach had chosen them to represent their team for team night with the mayor. They were very excited. However, a kid named Bobby did not like them. Though coach had one rule, love your team like your family. Hey, you guys. You think you're all that, don't you? Because you get to go to some dinner? Bobby, man, don't start. Man, you need to chill. I watch you always trying to be good guys. Doing what is right, trying to act like you love everybody on the team. We're not acting. We do. What we know is coach's number one rule, which is to love everyone like family. That means to love one another, even when you don't want to. Where did you learn that goofy stuff from? From our parents and God. Bobby, if you stop being so mean, then it would not be so hard for you to love other people. Aaron and Aiden were chosen for what? They were chosen by their coach to represent their baseball team for team night with the mayor. Why do you think this was special? You can stop the video and discuss your answers with your class or your family. What problem did they have with Bobby? Bobby didn't like them. He thought they were trying to act like they loved everyone on the team. What was coach's number one rule? To love your team like your family. What did Aaron and Aiden explain to Bobby? That they remembered coach's rule to treat everyone like family, even when they might not feel like doing so. They learned those values from their parents and God. Do you think their words encouraged Bobby to stop being mean? Discuss your answers with your family or friends. Exploring the story in Ruby's lab with me, Ruby the Red Panda. <laughs> Hello everyone, Ruby here. Today's lesson reminds us that we are to love one another. Paul teaches us that to be in Christ makes us free. It is that freedom that allows us to love others. This freedom allows us to know that Christ, not the law, should guide our behavior. The law had many rules to obey, but Christ's love freed us, freed us from all these rules. What we learn is that love is bigger than any rule or law. 
takeaways that God wants us to love one another. What ways, what are ways that we can show our love? Let's share as a class. You can write to me at rubyredpanda at mail.com. You want to sing it with me? That's Ruby Red Panda. I said a Ruby Red Panda. You know the Ruby Red Panda and Red Panda. Yes! Who does that like you see from? Mining for words is this exercise. You can see how many common words you can make from the letters in the phrase, love one another. Oh, I like to do things like this. See, see how many words I can find in other words. Write the words on the lines below. Um, if you don't, if you can't write, um, use a sheet of paper or a notebook. You can take a picture, send it to me, or you can do it in an email, send it to me. Let me see how you did. Uh, let me see if you came up with some words that I did not come up with. So you can look at words that rhyme first, like cat, bat, hat, rat. They can help you remember more words. Example, veal and vet. Okay. So let's see. Oh, what can we come up with? Of course, we can come up with the words in the title, like love. One. And another. Can you think of another one? Oh, you can break the word another down. I saw two in there. And other. And then there's the in there. Okay. You can reverse the OT in two. On in one. Reverse and get on. No. That kind of thing. Oh, but I'm giving you too many answers. You have to come up with your own. So here's another one that you know that I like. Uh, loving others picture puzzle. Oh, you, it's like you take letters away when you see a minus, you add some, and that sign sort of thing. So you take away as um, take away letters or a letter as described next to each image, and you write the word like okay, like number two is done. This is yogurt. So you're going to say, you're going to take the G and the T out, and you have Y O U R. Okay, so let's see what the first one is. G, this is a glove minus the G is love. And then that, oh, they're pointing to this little leg with a shoe on it. On the end. Uh, that's a knee. You're going to take out a K and one of the E's and then add plus I G H B O R. So the next word is neighbor. And there's a mask. We're going to take out M and K and have as. We have yogurt again minus the GT plus an S and plus an elf. That will get be a self. And so the phrase is love your neighbor as yourself. Lesson review from Galatians, the fifth chapter, verses 1 through 15. The key verse was the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Because Christ has set us free, we are freed from the yoke of being slaves to the law. Through love, Paul insists we are enslaved to each other. So did you get where, okay, this was coming from, we're back in Galatians again. All right, okay. Then the faith that Jesus represents and shows, always shows itself in Love. Christians are called to freedom in Christ. Their moral or honest direction should be shown by living in love under the guidance of God's spirit, serving one another in loving, mutual or shared service. 
someone serves you, and you serve someone else. And it's not a tit for tat thing. You see something that needs to be done, and you do it, and they do the same. And everybody is happier for it. And God is happier for it too. The outside, the outside power of God's love through the Holy Spirit frees and energizes Christians to live in ways that are pleasing to God. So boys and girls, did you notice that we had a flashback video by Ruby in that um, at the beginning instead of a craft? It sort of fit this lesson again. We had it earlier. But anyway, it's emoji. Will you kind of you're you're making me dizzy. You're really, really, seriously. So congratulations again to the class of 2022. And next week I hope to see you again. Remember you can email me. You can email M O G. You can email Ruby. And we love you. God loves you too. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Bye-bye.